Hey guys, it's Jess here with The Sleep Judge. I'd like to give a special shout out to our Canadian viewers today because we're taking a look at the Logan and Cove mattress. This is a new line by the same great folks who brought us Novosped, which we tried out about six months ago, and it's made and only available in Canada. This product uses a combination of foams and a coil unit to balance out comfort and support. Logan and Cove did a few things very differently than what most manufacturers are doing, and I think you'll be intrigued with their approach. So without further ado, let's see how Logan and Cove worked out. The cover is made of natural eucalyptus fabric. We come across a lot of natural components like bamboo in mattress covers, and eucalyptus is more common than you may realize. Mattresses containing live cell or tensile use eucalyptus fibers, and they excel in moisture absorption and provide good breathability and a soft surface. The cover is 25% tensile, 70% polyester, and 5% spandex to help it regain its shape after being stretched. The pillow top kicks off with a thin blended filling of 95% DuPont hollow fill for insulating properties and 5% silk. It sits on top of a one inch layer of Ecolux cooling gel visco foam. Now I'm a sucker for visco because of its general excellence in contouring capability and you do experience the memory foam feel when you lay on the Logan & Cove without excessive sinkage. Now it contains a beaded cooling gel that works to keep you from sleeping hot. Check out thesleepjudge.com if you want to learn more about how that works and we'll put it to the test with our thermal imaging camera here in just a moment. The final one inch pillow top layer is made of a biofoam blend of polyurethane and Canadian soy oil. Altogether, the pillow top is a little over two inches thick and it really does feel nice. Pillow tops or Euro tops with coil units are always a treat because they provide a unique combo of support and comfort that can appeal to a large percentage of mattress shoppers. Aiding us in the transition from comfort to support, we find the two inch biofoam layer other than a very slight increase in firmness, it's got an identical makeup to the layer right above. Its additional inch in thickness offers that last degree of comforting support before we reach the eight inch recore zonal pocketed coils. Interspring mattresses can be excellent for people who have mobility problems as they do work well to reduce excessive sinkage and they're naturally breathable to accommodate cool sleep. I also recommend them if you suffer with chronic pain since their degree of support can work to alleviate discomfort. Finally, the core is covered with full perimeter edge support foam and fiber encasing that's a half inch thick and encloses a height of seven and three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the mattress. With a better understanding of what's inside of the Logan & Co, let's talk for a minute about how it feels. Now the pillow top and coil combination creates a unique feel that I always recommend for sleep partners. This is especially true if one likes it firm and one likes it soft. By coupling firm support with gentle comfort, you fall at a comfortable medium ground that's appealing for a wide range. Smaller folks shouldn't have trouble exerting enough pressure to engage with the upper layers and heavier people don't feel like they're sinking in too much into the visco foam since the coil unit counters their force. It's strong and gentle in the right places and produces a unique sense of relaxation regardless of body type. I never have a hard time falling asleep with the pillow top coil combination and think it's an overall great strategy for sleep partners. You want your mattress to last, so let's examine what to expect when it comes to durability. Logan & Cove is still very new as of 2018, so we can't go out and talk to long-term customers. However, we can look at the densities and the coil count to make a reasonable prediction on longevity. Both biofoam layers are at 1.8 PCF, and this is good in terms of durability and polyfoam. We're also looking good in the coil unit with 820 in the queen model. You want to shoot for no less than 800. The natural components found in the filling and the pillow top likely adds a slight degree of buffer to reduce wear and tear in the comfort layer. You also get a 10 year non prorated warranty that offers full protection covering any cost for replacement or repair. Now, of course, it'll take several more years to see how durability actually plays out, but we can say for certain that you're safe from any serious manufacturing related issues for a decade, as long as you don't do anything to void your warranty. When you sleep hot, it's more difficult to achieve REM sleep, and that's when restorative magic takes place in your body. Let's see how well the natural components, gel visco foam, and naturally breathable coil unit performed compared with other mattresses that I've tried out using a thermal imaging camera to document the cool down process. 
Now I laid on my Logan & Co. for 30 minutes in a room temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. While my current average using data collected from over 30 mattresses is right around 10 minutes, this product returned to room temperature in 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So this product is around average in cooling capabilities compared with what's on the market today. In terms of firmness, Logan & Cove leans a little more toward firm, and they take a unique approach that I don't recall running into before now. I'll show you. On an average medium mattress, my 130 pounds of body weight will typically sink pretty consistently around 6.5 inches when I stand on it. This product incorporates the use of zoning in the coil unit, and this is a tactic used to even out support in relation to where on the body we carry the most weight. When I stand at the top and the bottom, I sink in about five inches, and we reach a depth of about six inches in the middle where the heavier pelvic area will lay. This shallower than average sinkage indicates harder firmness. We can also look at coil gauge to determine firmness. Coil gauge falls between 12 and 15, now, the higher the number, the plusher. The gauge on the top and the bottom is 14.5, which is very plush in terms of coils, and the middle is medium at 13.5 to account for zoning. This seemed to contradict with my sinkage test, but then I took another look at the indentation load deflections in the comfort foams, and I figured it out. When we think comfort, we think plush. You can read all about how indentation load deflection works at thesleepjudge.com, but 12 is very soft and 50 is very firm. I've seen ILDs as low as nine in the comfort layer, but Logan and Cove employed an interesting strategy. Both the visco foam and transitional polyfoam layers have ILDs of 35, and the one inch layer of polyfoam is 34. So the firmness is found in the comfort layer. I know, it took me a second to process that myself. As someone who prefers a slightly plusher mattress, I can't say that I was surprised at how this tactic turned out and it further plays into the strong yet gentle strategy that we see in the pillow top and the coil combination. Now, if you're not a fan of the firmness that you get, Logan & Cove does offer their Comfort Plus kit to get it right after your 30-day break-in period. I think it's very cool to see someone trying something different, and I think that the firmness level Logan & Cove arrived at could be an excellent fit for people who sleep on their stomachs. If you have a sleep partner or mobility problems, let's take a look at the edge support you can expect with this product. Good edge support makes it easier to get in and out of bed, and it helps you from falling out if you sleep too close. You will also be better supported when you sit on the edge. With the combination of the coil unit and the edge support foam and fiber encasing, you can see that I am very well supported. Those who have a particular reliance on good edge support shouldn't have any problems getting what they need with the Logan & Cove mattress. Most mattress companies have recognized how disruptive motion transfer is for sleep partners and incorporate measures to keep it minimal. For Logan & Cove, these measures include the pocketed coils that keep motion isolated to the point of impact since they're not interconnected like continuous coil products, and visco foam, which is well known for absorbing motion. Now this is pretty common and successful approach that, as you can see, does a pretty good job at keeping me still when someone moves around next to me. If you have a sleep partner, motion transfer shouldn't be a problem with your Logan & Cove mattress. The main thing that stood out to me about the Logan & Cove mattress is that I experienced more than one first. The high ILD in the comfort layer is something that I've never seen before, and it's refreshing to see a company that not only incorporates successful innovations of the past, like the pocketed coils, to reduce motion transfer, but also thinks outside the box with something that the other guys just aren't doing. Again, this product is still very new and new mattresses are often modified once customer feedback begins to flow in. I think that the non-prorated 10-year warranty gives you excellent protection if problems were to come up. The weight limit for this product is 300 pounds for individuals and 600 pounds for sleep partners and returns are accepted from days 30 to 120 of ownership. Logan & Cove is Ucotex and CertiPure certified, and the coil unit is made up of 50% recycled steel, which is a plus for anyone trying to reduce their carbon footprint. Now, if you're a stomach sleeper, have a sleep partner, or have mobility issues, this product is definitely worth including in your list of top contenders. Now, to learn even more and for insider discounts on sleep products, make sure you check out thesleepjudge.com. Our full written review includes helpful charts and additional information to help make the online mattress shopping a little bit easier to narrow down. Until next time though, remember the right mattress can make even the worst days better.